Hello my friends. I'm going to be pouring a wine pour today and I'm recording it as much for my benefit as yours because I'm changing up the colors a little bit. I'm using a new type of white paint for the base coat and a new hair dryer. So I want to document it and see how it goes. Um, real quickly though, let me show you an embellishment I recently did. I showed you this um, pour when I had experimented with leaving the, uh, oh, that's quite a glare from the metallics there, for leaving the um, Artist Loft white to sit overnight, and it it did make, I like the cells here. Um, they're a little smaller, and maybe there's something to that, leaving it to sit overnight for a while. But anyway, I decided to paint this lovely lady on here. It's inspired by Alphonse, um, I don't know if it's, if it's pronounced Mucha, or Muka. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of a, a twist, a modern twist on his carnation girl. And there it is. And let's see, today's colors. I'm going to be pouring another white wine. Now the last one I did, um, a white wine was a Chardonnay. It was very warm, kind of gold. So this time I'm going for a pale, pale yellow. So I've mixed up some lemon yellow and white come up with a lighter shade of that. Um, sometimes it has a little cast of green to it, so I'm using some chartreuse. And I think there's a little gold that's been added to this as well. This was kind of some leftovers. And then I am adding my favorite Golden Hour by Arteza. And that's it for color. So it's going to be very pale, I hope. Now the white is Creative Inspirations in Titanium White. I'll put the recipe down below, but it's the same one I've been using in all the other wine pours. I did need to add a little more water than um, when I use Artist Loft because of this. it's a little bit thicker. Oh, and my hair dryer is this cute little travel one called Flower. I just got it at Walmart. I saw, I think it was Tammy Anderson using it, and I, I liked the ease with which it seems to blow the paint around and real easy to hold. Um, the only thing about it doesn't have a cool setting. It's just high and low, and it's all a warm temperature. But I think as long as you keep it moving, you don't stay in one place for any length of time, it should be fine. So we'll give that a try. So let me lay down the white. I'm also using one more thing. Um, I usually use a deep canvas for these, but I bought a bunch of these, um, the edge canvases from, um, where was it, Jerry's? Jerry's or Blix? I honestly don't remember. I think Jerry's. Anyway, it's a nice uh, canvas. It's gallery wrapped, which means it's tucked in around the frame. It's not stapled all around. And so that's a nice feature in the shallow frame. So it's easy to get those sides covered. And here we go. This is an eight by 24 inch canvas, and that was 10 ounces of white. Should be plenty. Um, these wine pours are, are selling pretty well at the uh, winery and elsewhere. So um, I'm making a lot more than you're seeing on video. But when I do a different color, or as I said in this case, a uh, different base coat paint, um, I will record it and pass on my findings to you. All right, let me move 
the gloves. And lay out the paint. I'm going to start with the with the uh, golden hour because I want the the warm to be first to be kind of um, underneath the other colors to kind of come like a glow from beneath. I want the um, the lighter shades to be on top. So I'm going to lay it out from the narrow end to the narrow end this time. Oh, I love that color. Golden hour. I think I'll do the green next. Just a hint of the green. And then a pale yellow. Okay. Um, so two of those are Arteza colors, which reminds me my Arteza coupon is good for another couple of days through the 19th, I believe. Coupon code is down below. And here we go. I'm going to try it on low first and see if it moves the paint around. Ooh, it's pretty warm. Let's see. I'm gonna go this way first. That moves it around nicely. Looks kind of splashy. I like it, and it's certainly much quieter than my my other hair dryer, isn't it? about that green. I think I need to blow that out. More. I like the hint of it, but it was too strong there. That's good. A lot of undisturbed area here I think I'm going to have to do something with. are so pale that um, I think I'm okay with these little areas of undisturbed where um, I have a little bit of a hard edge there to give it some some body otherwise it's just too you know too um, blown out too 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 ethereal uh -huh. I don't mind that I just want to run this over to that edge I like things to reach the edges. Good here, here. That's a little skimpy, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Here, I don't mind that little thing. I just wanna get that over there. So, one more little. Okay, that'll do it. Wow, now this didn't sell up at all. Isn't that interesting? 
wish there'd been a little bit. Uh, there's a tiny bit that's difficult to see, and maybe as it sits, it'll sell up a little bit. For the most part, though, it didn't, which is which is okay. Uh, there's hints of it in there. I like it. Let me bring you in. It is nighttime. I don't know if you can uh, really appreciate the the color at this late hour, but you can see a little hint of green and that lovely gold in there it gives it a little a little body. I like that little ribbon of gold there. Oh, let me um, let me quickly show you the dried champagne result. I don't, I don't think I've shown you that yet. Oh, actually, this is not it. This is a same exact same colors, but it's a pour that I did afterwards and I really like the um, composition of this one it has not yet been varnished but I think it's going to be just beautiful when it is so that is champagne I have the one I did on video and this one and now we have some somewhat Shannon Blanc I think it's called I, I don't know I can't say it I can't drink it but there you have it Okay, my friends, thanks for joining me. See you next time.